Hey guys, Blubber here, and today we're doing a bit of a weirder video. Well, not really weirder video, I've just like never really done this, but it's been requested quite a bit. You guys want to see me uh, review game passes in Greenville. So I've actually come up with a kind of like a grading system for how we're going to be marking this. And we're going to start off with the luxury game pass. I'm going to try to do all the car packs. I don't think I'm going to do like extra garage space because... I would have to come up with a whole entire different grading system. But before we hop into the video, you can use the timestamps down below if you just want to get straight to the review. But I'm going to go over the grading system for a moment here just so you guys understand my grading. So this we're going to be grading this uh, game pass out of 100. Um, so all the categories are as follows. A variety of cars will be marked out of 10. Quality of cars will be marked out of 10. The price of the game pass will be marked by 10. Uh, the impact of the game pass also known as how useful the game pass is, will also be marked out of 10, and how it compares to other game passes will also be marked out of 10. Now, if you're paying attention, you're going to be like, wait a minute, that only equals 50. Uh, all results will be multiplied by 2. So, for example, if I give it 8 out of 10 for a variety of cars, that, you know, be 8 out of 10, I had tons that by 2, which would be 16 out of 20. Like us for all of them. Uh, also, I'm going to put on screen the grading system we're going to be using. Uh, this is the grading system that my province uses, so I'm just going to use it because it makes more, most sense to me. But yeah, basically 86 to 100 is an A, 73 to 85 is a B, 67 to 72 is C plus, 60 to 66 is a C, 50 to 59 is a C minus, 0 to 48 is an F. And yeah, anyways, uh, let's get straight into the review. So today we are reviewing the Lecture Game Pass. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to say this, this is the best Game Pass Greenville has to offer. And yeah, let's dive into it. So uh, we're going to be jumping into our first category. And yeah, I'll get you guys when we were looking at the cars in the dealership. Okay, so hands down luxury, the luxury game pass has probably the most variety of cars. There's a few cars that I feel like should not be in this section. Like I feel like the the Supra and the S2000 should be in the classic game pass, but it is what it is. So I'm going to quickly scroll through these cars. I'm not going to go over every single one. I did pick out a few of my favorites from this game pass though. They're cost friendly, so no, it doesn't cost too much. But yeah, this game pass has a lot of cool cars for its price. You might think that's not too many, but you also got to consider that uh, sp specific cars have trims that are offered in Link Game Pass. So for example, if we choose a, um, let me find a car here. Uh, the 2000 is a Bullhorn Prancer. So it says no game pass, but if you actually go to the SF8, SFP8 trim, that does require a Luxury Game Pass. Luxury Game Pass has easily the most cars in the game. Uh, same goes for, for example, where, what car am I thinking of right here? I'm trying, it's 2007 Westbrook Charge. If you want the VR6, you need a Luxury Game Pass. So it comes really useful if you're trying to get like the highest trims of cars, because 9 out of 10 times, it's going to be the Luxury Game Pass. So when it comes to variety of cars, I'm going to give this, uh, I, I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 because compared to all the other game passes, this has the most cars and it lets you get all the super high trims of like all the normal cars. And yeah, that's just very useful. Now moving on, we're gonna be going into the quality of cars, so I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. Alright, so these are one of the cars that are featured in the Luxury Game Pass. Now this is a really cool car in my opinion. Like, I chose out some good cars. I'm also gonna go over some not so good cars in the dealership. I'm not gonna waste money on buying crap cars, right? But this is an example of a really good car. Uh, this car's around only the 20k mark, and it also goes really fast. So in the Luxury Game Pass, you're gonna be finding some pretty high quality cars. I'm gonna go over like two more vehicles, so then we can check out the garage for some other cool vehicles. I suggest another really cool car under this game pass is this car right here again just like these cars are actually really detailed for the luxury game pass like they a lot of like the really nice cars are under the luxury game pass so you're going to go in you're going to be getting like pretty good value when it comes to like if you're looking for detailed cars and now let's go to the dealership i'm going to go over some not so high quality cars but hey you know every single game pass is going to have some not so high quality cars right so a few examples of cars i feel could be a little bit higher quality under this game pass number one is 2017 falcon advance uh this thing is cool but i feel like it just isn't as high quality as the other cars uh also another car i feel like could be higher quality where is it this thing right here it's a cool car, but I feel like it's way too wide compared to the other vehicles. It just doesn't feel right. And I'm trying to think of another car here that I can think of. Um, also, this car right here. It's, again, a really cool car, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel like its real-life counterpart. And, again, 99% of these cars are really nice. So, when it comes to the quality of the cars, I'm going to give it a 8.5 out of 10. And you're going to be thinking, wait, Blubber, you can't do 0.5. So, well, if you multiply 8.5 by 2... That's going to equal, like, you know, 17, right? So, you got to kind of, you know, well, 8.5 plus 8.5 equals 17. Just got to consider that, right? And that's why I'm doing the double system, because then I can get point marks and accurately rank them, and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, let's move on to the price of the game pass. And yeah, I'll be right back with you guys. So, the price of the luxury game pass is 250 Robux, 
making it the second most expensive game pass in Greenville. I might think that's kind of pricey, but you gotta consider compared to the other game pass if it comes to price and the amount of stuff you get in the luxury game pass, you're getting quite a bit for how much you're paying. So in comparison, 250 Robux roughly estimates to $2.50. You're getting like over like what 60 cars to choose from countless trims also all around it's really good value but there are some fra like uh fraggle people that you know don't really like spending that much robux on a game pass so for this category i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. now let's move on to the impact of the game pass guys okay so for the impact of the game pass uh this is a very very easily a 9 out of 10 for me mainly because you gotta consider all the cars you're getting but the only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because you actually don't really need car game passes at all you can literally just use the base cars easily but the amount of cars you get on this game pass is just phenomenal with hence the ranking and again the qualities of the cars are really nice and you're not even paying way like my issue with the sport game pass is that you pay way too much for the cars that you already paid real life money for but with the electric game pass, you gotta get a mix between the both. And yeah, again, that's why I chose nine out of 10 for this section. Now let's move on to our final section of the like ranking okay, system. So for the final section, it is it is listed as how it compares to other game passes. Now, first of all, uh, let's just get one thing out of the like, part. what was I gonna say? Let's just get one thing clear. Uh, this is a car game pass, so I'm not going to really be comparing it to the like more storage, premium paint jobs, or custom radio game passes because they're totally different. We're going to be comparing it to the other vehicle game passes. So first of all, uh, luxury game pass is priced at 250 Robux. The other um, game passes are listed at Sport Game Pass at 500 Robux, Law Enforcement Pass at 75 Robux, Electric Pass at 150, and Classic at 75 and I stick to my statement of saying that this is the best value game pass you can get in Greenville, mainly due to the fact the variety of cars you get and like how like cheap the, some of the cars are. Again, you're going to find a lot of expensive cars in the luxury game pass, but there's a lot of cheap cars that bounce it out. And I feel like it's a perfect blend between price and how much you're actually going to be paying for the cars in game. And that's why I give this game pass 10 out of 10 because this is easily the best game pass in the game, guys. So yeah, let's move on to the final section of video where we actually grade this and yeah. So now we are at the final part of the video. Now I just estimated all the rankings. So as continues. So for variety of cars, we got a 20 out of 20, which is really good score. Uh, for the quality cars, we got a 17 out of 20. Uh, for the price of the game pass, we got 18 out of 20. For the impact of the game pass, uh, we also got an 18 out of 20. And for how it compares to other game passes, we got a 20 out of 20, which gives us a final score at 93, which is a mid A again. That's really good, actually, because a lot of these game passes are going to fall between the, like, mid, probably the C's, honestly, because I'm going to be a lot, I'm going to be pretty harsh, but, again, everyone has bias, so you guys are obviously not going to 100% agree with my video, and regardless, I could try to, like, it's literally impossible for people to do things unbiasedly, because everyone has a bit of bias, it's just human nature, so I did my best to, like, try to not make this biasedly, but, again, your opinion is what you should stick to. I'm just giving my opinion out here. If you love this, if you hate this game pass, don't buy it, right? It's all about the personal uh, fits that you were looking for in your game passes. Like, for all I know, you could think the sport game pass is your favorite. I personally think the sport game pass is the worst game pass. But, you know, your opinion is what matters to you. So don't take the, so just take this video with a grain of salt. You know what I mean? But again, the final score is 93 out of 100, which leaves this at an A. And yeah, if you guys, let me know what you guys think about this game pass. Let me know what game pass you want me to do next. Um, this is going to be a very short series because I for sure want to do luxury. And I'm thinking of doing this, the other four car things. Uh, it depends how well this video does, actually. If this video flops, I won't do another game pass review. But the luxury game pass has been highly requested. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.